You see, we all need persistence in life. You know, the starting point of anything is desire. And then after desire, you need the persistence to go after it day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute. You know, persistence is the sustained energy needed to induce faith. Without, without persistence, there's no faith because faith is working towards something that you not, you can't guarantee. But you just know, as fast as I keep going, I'm gonna get there. So, I think the difference between a lot of people who succeed and who fail is persistent. Of course, you need all the skills you want in the world. But the persistence, the ability to carry on when you fail, to try again when you've been knocked down, when there's no hope, but to keep trying, learning from your mistakes and improving. That's one of the major things you need in life. Persistence. There is, I actually think there is nothing more needed than persistence. If you have the same skill as the same person, knowledge about the same person, but you work twice as hard, of course, you're going to achieve more than that person. That's where persistence comes in. Desire, of course, we need that. Goal driven, we need that. But persistence stands above every other thing. You can't achieve anything without persistence. You don't start something today and succeed tomorrow. You need countless overcoming, repetition, repetition. Everyone who's become something has gone through a lot of ups and downs. They failed a lot of time, they won a lot of time, but there is that persistence, there is that ability to win over and over again. So you can't knock persistence. There is nothing more than it. Regardless of your skill, regardless of your ability, regardless of your desire, you need persistence. You need continuous pushing. That ability, stickability, never ever giving up knowing that i've not gotten this job today i'm knocked down today it's not working for me but going back to the drawing board and improving yourself there is nothing more than that a lot of the people who succeeded who've taken big risk and whatever it all comes down to continuous doing the same thing over and over again learning from their mistake learning how to redefine it learning how to not make the same mistake again you know, the only way to go from desire to go is persistence. That's actually the gap between what you want or what you dream of having or what you hope of having to what you're going to have is persistence. The ability to carry on, to keep going. That's the difference. So giving up halfway, there's a lot of people give up not only they like one step away from the dream. They almost there. They almost made it. They almost hit it so do not give up take that step carry on don't become the people who almost did it almost almost never counts persistence that's the ability to go from zero to hero and how or where do persistence comes from persistence comes from the will the desire the ability to think to work hard to believe that's where persistence comes and when you combine the will the desire with persistence then you become an achiever most people who i know the top bankers in the world the biggest people it all they've been doing the same thing for 10 15 years but improving every time and that's how they create better value and that when people are going out of work they in demand why they've persisted they've picked one area and they keep going on it they keep working on it they keep developing on it so they have taken their desire their will and they've added persistence and that's how you grow a lot of people i know they want to become something overnight without actually taking the steps without actually walking towards something without actually persisting they give up the first time they fail they why because they fear of criticism from other people the thing holding most of us back these days is not because of our ability to fail it's because of what we think other people are going to think how other people are going to see us how we are going to be analyzed we are so scared of other people's opinion rather than everything and you know what they say he who puts other people's opinion before your own you basically you have discounted yourself you've said to yourself look i 
have no wealth. So success is basically willpower mixed with persistence. And that's how you go. Willpower mixed with persistence. Some of the best successful people, they're not the most skilled. It's just they have that willpower and they apply persistence. And the combination of those two is always a winner. A lot of people give up at the first hurdle. You know, not because they're not strong enough, but because of so many circumstances, they can't actually, you know, see the end. They just give up. But some carry on why they have that persistence in them. That are not because they're more skillful, not because they're actually stronger, but they have the will and they apply persistence. They've, they've, they've accepted the situation and they're like, look, I am going to keep going until I win. That will separate us from the others. Sometimes no skill. Of course, you need to develop your skill. You need to work out, you need to improve how you speak, how you write, how you communicate, how you do your work. Faster, quicker, more accurate attention to detail. But persistence sits in the middle of those. That's the connector, persistent. Without that, you are going nowhere. A lot of us fail, not because we're not strong enough, not because we're not smart enough, not because we're not skilled enough, but because we lack persistence. They've been a, um, they've been a survey done, a research done that most people fail due to lack of persistence. Not skill, not nothing, not willpower. A lot of people fail due to lack of persistence. So the gap between where you are and where you need to go is persistent. The ability to keep trying, the ability to carry on, not, not, not believing that you're going to hit everything in the first go. That will separate a lot of winners from losers. Persistence, the ability of never giving up. And, and you know this, this can only be overcome by effort. In how and how strong your will and goal is. That's the only way to overcome lack of persistence. Because that's what's holding us back most time to where we need to go. The ability to wake up and do the same thing over and over again till you become a professional, till you become an expert, till you can do it as fast as you want, till you can start enjoying it. Most people who succeed, not because they do everything they like, like people like to tell you, do what you like. No, they do something till they start enjoying it, till they become a professional in it, till they become the best in it. Of course, when you do something you like, you're more inclined to do it more often. But a lot of people keep doing something to become a pro in it. Not every successful people does something they like. No, they're doing something they're good at. They're doing something they can improve at. And how do they get that? not one day not the second day by continuously pushing themselves to get better that comes from within you can't buy that you can't teach that you have to have it and apply it to yourself persistence there is nothing better than persistent consistency so remember the starting point of anything is desire if you have a small very small desire you end up with a very small goal just like you know a small fire could only do very little damage so you have to have a strong big desire to generate a big persistence to go for it with desire we go